animals, man. You don't need nothing to do with uh, slavery. This is uh, something else I wanted to talk to you about. One thing you've got in common with uh, ISAS is you use the same pro producer, Keith Forsey. How, yeah. how did you get about the choosing him? Well, um, in lots of ways, Keith's a wild person. Uh, he is English, Keith. He came from Ilford, in, out just outside London, well, in London, just like I came from North London and Bromley, um, which is in South London. And um, basically what Keith's great at is the fact that he's dealt with a lot of different mediums, mediums which affect the modern world. In other words, he's worked in rock and roll, psychedelic acid bands, as well as disco with George M. Rode and Donna Summer. That's right. From and um, I personally was moving my music into a much more streamlined form of what Generation X were always doing because I wanted to clear up, clear up things in my music. I wanted to make it more direct. And all I needed was someone who understood that I needed a drummer with rhythm. And uh, I was very lucky on the Dance With Myself, the third generation X album, Kiss Me Deadly, we, we used Terry Chimes, who used to be in The Clash, who they threw out the fools because he was the best drummer they ever had. I'm afraid I don't agree with anybody who says Top of Heaven was better. I don't, sorry, I, I don't believe that. Terry's brilliant. And um, I was very lucky to work with him. And um, I really found out a lot then about rhythm about what I really wanted. And um, I couldn't really get that in England. Things started to go a bit funny. You know, uh, well, about the time I'm talking about is 1980. There's a massive change in England towards what you're seeing now, the kind of Boy, Boy George Spandau Ballet, mm. all that kind of stuff, which ain't rock and roll. Uh, I don't think they call it rock and roll. They hate rock and roll as far as I'm concerned. That's what they say. So great. <laughs> hate it. I hey. love it. How I would you define rock and roll it? Is the future. I think it's always been the future, and I make rock and roll, and I believe in it. And I think rock and roll is the uh, the principle upon which our societies exist. And I just don't think fake. I think fake clips and music don't make it. So, uh, basically, I moved to the states only because I was looking for other people who felt like me. And in a, in New York, uh, New York Velvet Underground came out of New York. New York Dolls came out of New York. Uh, Alan Vega and Suicide came out of New York and the Cramps. And, uh, and New York came band. out of New York. Of course, they're yeah. my favorite bands. Uh, I love uh, rock and roll. Um, I feel an affinity towards uh, any sort of Western culture that uh, embraces that attitude. And uh, I'm not going to sit here with a big Union Jack sprayed on my bonce like Def Leppard and try and tell you that it's not about slavery. You know, I, well, I like the new world. I'm sick of the old world. I don't want anything to do with it. It makes me violently ill to but, think that... Uh, look, my uh, great-grandmother... Had her fingers ripped out, uh, fingernails ripped out by um, English people. And um, I don't see why I should support, support a system which uh, is advocating that kind of uh, decadence. People are always really quick to pigeonhole music these days. That was a good speech, too. Um, it's the you, truth. It, it, <laughs> sure. That's why it's good. Rock, rock and roll, which you mentioned before. How, I mean, what is rock and roll these days? I mean, so many people argue about what is and what isn't rock and roll. I don't know. Well, rock and roll is whatever you want to believe it is. I mean, that's the magic of it. I mean, I ain't going to tell you what rock and roll is. If you don't know what it is, you know what it is. I know what it is. People who don't know buy other people's records. <laughs> they buy what well, I told them. You know, they buy fake clips of music. I, I love reggae, but, but fair, I don't live in Jamaica. Yeah. But it would be fair to say that... It, that that, that if, you, if you think rock and roll is a career, you're not really no, it's not a career, into no. rock and roll. No, rock and roll has never been a career. It's a way of life. Yeah. And uh, anybody who says it's a career is full of crap. Yeah, I don't think you can have a career in rock and roll. Rock and roll is not based on those principles. Rock and roll is really based on fun and Having excitement a good time. and, and uh, being yourself. And uh, I don't work for no one. No one works for me. They work with me. I do my best to support those people as best I can. And that's what rock and roll's about. And I support the people who buy my records as best I can by, by making good things and trying to play to them. And I'm not really interested in ripping anybody off. I don't care about money, never have. I'm still sitting here, I'm 28 years old. I started doing this in the last 21, or well, 20 actually. I started off in punk rock, I'm still a punk rocker. I believe in everything I've ever said. Anybody else uh, who don't think I do can uh, take a hike. Because I've got the airwaves, not you. So <laughs> that's the power of rock and roll. Promo right tours, here, looking at you. promo tours, which is what you're doing right now, are, are good in so far as you get to meet people and talk to them. But it must be very frustrating for you. I know it's frustrating for the punters to have somebody out here talking on the television but not actually playing yeah. live. What, what, what have you got up your sleeve there? Is there well, you know, I'm open. I would like to. Uh, me and my guitarist Steve Stevens is here at the minute, and I hope we can jump up somewhere and just play with some band anywhere. We did that the other night uh, in New York, uh, a place called the Cat Club, uh, on 13th Street and Fourth Avenue. In 
in the United States of America. We just jumped up and played. We do that lots of times. I don't know, you know, you don't even need a group really to be rock and roll. You don't need nothing. You just need yourself. So uh, me and my guitarist are here. If we can jump up, great. But I'm really hoping that I'm, I'm sad that I'm not playing here. But I'm glad I'm here at least to meet people like yourself and you out there and be here to talk and find out and see. Maybe that's a clever way of doing it. At least I know a bit. I don't, I've never been to Australia before and it's an exciting thing for me. At least I get the chance to wander about. Sure. Well, I hope you get plenty of time to do it. You, you're only here for a short time. Have a good stay while you are here and look forward to seeing you perhaps when you tour towards the end of this year, maybe yeah, early next worry. year. Oh, I'm going to come here. Wow. When you come here, I'll have a great time because I have my whole band and <laughs> I'll be rocking. I'm rocking now. <laughs> 